burglar ransacks a Lee County Sheriff's deputy's home, stealing his TV, a computer, a gun, not the deputy's department gun, though. And the crook apparently got in through a doggy door on the lanai. Four in your corner is Eli Roberts doing some sleuth work to find out if these things are safe. Okay, so you've heard about dog doors and, you know, it's always easy to think that maybe someone could just walk in. But let's take a look and see, you know, how hard it actually is to fit through one of these things. Okay, well, you, you get the point. I just got through myself. This is a dog door for a rather big dog. Um, but if it were a smaller door, you could still do the same thing getting inside. Just reach in and unlock the door. It's not that big of a deal. It was too easy to get in. I wanted to find out if people who have doggy doors feel at risk. I mean, all you'd have to do is just go in and reach up, right? Mm, it might be a little harder than that, but... If you had a dog door, it certainly would be that way. It's small, and I don't expect anybody to fit through it. Does hearing about this make you think twice about having that in your house? Mm, I suppose if I had a big dog door, that certainly would make me think twice. Cape Coral Police have some advice for pet owners. If you're going to install one, make sure you keep it locked at night. Don't think the dog's the only one that could access it. Uh, in the night. This guy had no problem getting in through a doggy door. His mischievous behavior a hit on YouTube. Wow. But police say yeah, it's a troubling problem. Like so you're saying that there is actually a problem, a safety risk posed by this? Yes, of course. Uh, any, any entry into your house that is unsecure or unlocked it presents a problem. In Cape Coral, Eli Roberts, Fox 4 in your corner. Cape Coral Police tell Eli break-ins through doggy doors aren't very common, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't make sure your home is secure at all times. You're wondering how to